Hey, hey, you're with Easy Jeezy. I'm out in the shop cleaning up while I'm waiting for parts. And today I wanted to get this big thing with the axle sticking out of it off the floor. If you have an IRS transmission, the differential looks more like this, and that's what I have in my Baja. In Valerie, the 65 out in the street, it has a swing axle tranny, and it would have something in it that looks like this for a differential. Now, the bearing on the outside, here's an example of the bearing. This fits on, on we'll call this one Valerie. It goes right over this section over here, and you've got two spider gears inside there. You've got two side gears that come in from the side. I'll show you those in a second. Make contact with that, and that's how you roll down the street. When you go around a hard corner, the outside wheel is going to turn a lot more than the inside wheel. So you need this differential, and that's when these things start moving and turning when you're going around corners. When you're going in a straight line, generally all these spider gears, unless your tires are a different size, which, you know, that's probably, even if you change the air pressure, it can, you can affect that. But these don't normally turn with a lot of stress on them. They do take a lot of the load. Now, if you want to upgrade this for off-road use or uh, hard, heavy-duty use, what they used to offer, not from the factory, the aftermarket, address it with what they call this beef -a diff Now, you don't see anything in that big hole here, but in this one you see a nut. And the reason why is there's four gears in there. This is the side gear I was talking about. See, there's four gears that go down in there. And that's going to give you more teeth, more contact. If you have it set up right, and they've got threaded shafts so you can turn it in and key it. If you set that up right, you can increase the strength factor of the stock differential. The next step up, and there was several different brands, was what they called the Super Diff. Now this too uses the same four spider gears, but instead of hanging out here in outer space, the inside of this thing is machined, and I'm working at getting inside it. Where are it? Okay, you can see here's a shaft. Instead of having that threaded nut, here's the shaft. The inside of this housing is machined for the back of that spider gear. Let's see if I can slide one down here. I can't. Hmm. The backs of those spider gears are dome shaped and they fit real nice into this cast iron housing. And there is some flexibility to this type of cast. Those things can get deformed and you can have issues that way as well. You can, I don't I hate to say the word bend, of it, bend it, but you can deform it uh, and create yourself problems with sudden shocks like dropping the clutch real hard or flying through the air in the sand dunes and coming down hard and then gassing it. You are pounding the heck out of these differentials when you do that. Usually those little spider gears would lose a tooth. Once that tooth gets to bouncing around in there, it just disintegrates things. So you've got the pin, you slide it in with the gears inside, and then you put a, a pin inside here, a roll pin, to lock it in place. I don't even know if I was pointing in the right direction. I'm talking here. Okay. Another version for a sedan transmission. These are all sedan differentials. This is an IRS. This is what's in my Baja. This is what's in the Valerie. The, I think they switched uh, 68. So through 67 they used this style and then 68, 69, they went to this style. This is easier because you could undo the axles and take the transmission out of the car without undoing the brakes and all that sort of stuff. The car could be staying on the ground. The earlier ones kind of seems crazy. Look how big the bearing is and how close in it is to the ring gear. On this one, you've got a much smaller gear. Gear bearing. All right. So, that's what I'm working on this morning. Thought I'd show it to you. It may have enlightened some and confused others. Don't ask me questions. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm not in transmission mode. 
I'm trying to get into engine mode and I'm waiting on parts and it's just killing me. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out. And don't forget to try to do some yoga. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's that stretching and moving around. If you wait until it hurts, if you wait till you become my age and you get aches and pains and you have trouble getting out of bed every morning, you can make progress by doing the yoga. But if you start doing the yoga before you get the aches and pains, you won't get the aches and pains. I wish I'd have been doing it years ago. Uh, only been doing it about four months now, and it is unbelievable. So, talk to you later.